it's pretty much nothing, isn't it? Nobody wants this statutory. Nah, shit. You won't it's get fucking ridiculous how low it is. 120 quid a week. You Will I be able to pay myself week? that? Yeah. All right. As long as you pay PAYE. Yeah, I do pay a very little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it depends. It, you know, oh, to, I don't pay myself much wages. Yeah, check on your, check on your system. It'll either let you or it won't do it. We're, we're kind of alive now. <laughs> Oh, oh are we behind the curtain? Get... So if you want to put your money exactly. laundering down, oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are, we, are, are we behind the curtain? Yeah. I mean, aye, 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 captain. Oh. Don't talk about it anymore. You do pay a very little bit. Yeah. Hush, hush. It's all secret. Yeah. Good. Do you sit? Oh, we're back. Are, we... uh, are the credits rolling? Are we still there? Hmm, we're just waiting for confirmation of ah. sound check. Doesn't Brad look like an overinflated eight-year-old? Like if he just got a bike pump and he just put too much in, and then you're like, oh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. He looks I like Keith Stephen. Is that, <laughs> is that your fucking East Coast Midlands way of posh way of saying that I'm fat? No, I just mean you look. No, for, for your 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 fat for an eight-year-old, you're larger than an eight-year-old would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, so, I want it on well, the record. Tony says we can start now. Oh, cool. I'll roll Thanks, Tony. Tony. Cheers, Tony. And we are live. <laughs> Welcome to the Sorry. new Hello. home show. Episode Reaping. or chapter 14. Um, oh, chapter changing ooh, it up. What a show we've got for you tonight. Um, absolutely jam packed. Um, we have regulars John from Just Add Nick. Brad Hi, guys. As well. <laughs> Brat is on as well. And special, Hi guys. special <laughs> guest contributor, regular former Omi from the old He's show. He's still at Omi. He's still at Omi. Former Omi from the old show. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, former now. Uh, no, you're now, at home, you're Super right? special I'm guest again. and uh, off the regular show. contributor. Kicked uh, out, and now I'm not. I'm a former. Um, I'm, I'm Rick I'm from Woodmaker.co.uk. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, bit of business. Mm -hmm. Thanks for everyone in chat. Don't forget to switch it to live chat at the top, uh, so you don't miss out any <laughs> other messages. Smash Thank that you. like button, 2020 styley. Um, just, just because you know that's the only way we are happy, um, and it helps. Uh, so do that. And what else? What else? That's that's just the, that's the formalities, isn't it? We are talking about Corona tonight. COVID nineteen. We're talking about new vape gear, new vape stuff. We've got four new vaping items to show you tonight. Um, we're talking about the news. We're talking about the budget. We're talking about <laughs> Rick's uh, five most least liked people in vaping, or however we phrased it previously. Uh, it's five vaping, top five vaping wankers. Well, that's not vape, it's not, one of them isn't even a person per se. All oh, right, okay, like uh, Bugs Bunny. A bunch of people. Yeah, well, whatever, it's fine. Uh, it went down a storm last time, so... Uh... What's the worst can happen? Oh, uh, it won't be as good as Craig. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not as strike, so. I'm not um, as good at uh, slagging people off as that, Craig. <laughs> that's an actual thing. So uh, grab a beer and uh, and uh, enjoy. Uh, uh, let's Chris, let's go around. Christopher around? Morrow just said, uh, "Who's the uh, who? Who's the skinny young guy pretending to be Rick?" I know. We've discussed this before. It's Rick's baby brother, Brick. No. Brick. You can really see he's got his case kind of. I can see Rick's face is coming in. And he's got he's getting chinny. Yeah, he's lost a bit, hasn't he? Yeah, look at that. Uh, well, Rick only has one chin now, so he's clearly lost something. <laughs> Brad, what are you vaping? What are you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brad are you is. Up? Are you standing up? No, I'm not. Right. I'm on my okay, stool okay. tonight. Fine, fine. Carry on. Bouncing up and down. I am vaping my EVL. From the EDL John, which oh. came via via, but yes, I'm still using my UL from you, darling. Where are you? Are you over there? No, you're over there from you. And in here, I have got 
cactus. Cactus at 20 milligram, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I am drinking two beverages tonight. Well, not at the same time. A Disco Forklift Truck uh, Mango. I've tried toilet. that mango one. It's nice. It's. I'm, I'm regretting only buying one can. Is that is that what... Uh, it, they do more called Disco Forklift Truck, or is that just the mango one called that? For only one I've only had that one. I don't know. There, there's a whole set, though, isn't there? But there's a whole know. set. I'm they got sure different names. Convention. Oh, okay. I got I kind of the mango ones. They're kind of that's all right. That'd be like number mm. three for me. Those better, slightly better mangoes, but it's good though. Yeah, I like this. I think I'll, I'll be going back in the morning to get some more of these for the weekend. Get the yes. other, get the other varieties as well. Yeah, show off. Yeah, I'm in a catch twenty two. I can't buy. It too much beer because then I have to carry it to the new house on Tuesday. Drink so whatever I, thought, I buy, I have to finish. I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say you had to stand outside and wait for someone to come up and you go, excuse me, mister, can you go in and get me some beers, please? <laughs> well, I'll give you no, a pound. That too. I'm going to throw this at Rick, darling. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. What are you drinking, my friend? And what are you vaping? I am drinking Brewdog. I've just had a punk and then I'm having a dead pony club, so usual. Mm. They're actually pony. still outside from Christmas, so I haven't really been drinking much this year. I've had, I have had—I don't even think I've had 10 pints this year. Whoa. Sure. Yeah. P pony is way better than you, punk. didn't I, Brad? I had a couple of pints for you Yeah. this year. Um, mm. I went out the other day with Jake and I had three pints then. And... That's it. No wonder you're looking so damn skinny. You forgot to drink. Didn't forget. What have you been it's doing hard. yourself? Well, I, I got, I, I'm going to contest Richard. Ponies better than punk. It is, but they're bad ones. Ah, uh, then again, yeah. But then there's some shit ones. There's a lot of shit ones in the brew dog things. But Indies, shit. I don't say when I would buy that. Yeah, a bit crap. It's. I still like. I, I'm. I'd rather Pony's drink great. a session one now. So Dead Pony Club would be my preference. Oh, I love Pony. Yeah, I like a bit. Of I like a pony. That just sounds dirty. Oh, yeah, well, you know, you're in London. Anyway, Oops. so yeah, I'm drinking that. And what am I vaping on? My little MM mechanical skonker with what is it? Tell me what it Haku? is. Haku. Haku <laughs> on top. Chris Munoz bell cap. And my black current in that one. And the other one, I've got um, abstract mods with. What's that, Atty? Remember that one? Craig hated it. Leaks out. He reckoned it leaked. Uh, Hadley. 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 I thought I'd try the Hadley again because it was a, a flavour machine and yeah. it's good. So I'm flavouring the Hadley on my abstract and I'm using this deep rooted, the mint one. Um, nice. What they called it? Lassia. Lassia. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, I've done my bottle on that. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I mean, That's it's. It. It, uh, the first couple of vapes, it's really quite, cool. it's cool. But that goes away. You, you tune in and it's just like, it's just a nice and fresh off. Yeah, that. there's a lot more to it after you get past that bit. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's almost, I like it. It's almost chewy. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm vaping on. Um, John. Hello, mate. What are you drinking? What are you vaping? Uh, I'm on a ghost ship at the moment but i don't worry i have got i've got a backup what have i got you got some good. real beer as well oh like. yeah 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 i just don't remember what it was in a dog yeah no that's not a ghost ship yeah like you need to have a hit I'm, I'm trying to find the other it's worth it it's worth it stay tuned, <laughs> stay tuned. you got your sainsbury's packet under oh, the these ones. yeah magic uh, rock magic rock i see these kick the shit out of yeah i love me. magic rock it's my new favorite I, I think that's that's better than Dead Pony and uh, Punk. I know if I've had it. Really, really good. Uh, do you know what? I yeah, I can say I don't. There's a bad one in them. They they do mm. a few. Uh, Cannibals, fantastic. Uh, there's there's uh, three, three of their pubs are ten minutes away from me. Oh really? Yeah. You fucking asshole! You can get a pint. Oh yeah, all of them on draft. Oh, bastard. Proper, Ha proper hample as well, not just glorified taps. I might actually find an excuse to come and visit you now. Yeah, maybe. Just annoy him. I um, was in, in Home Perth. We can go down the hill on the bath in a bathtub. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about the about the beer scene. To be perfectly honest, it's all hipsters, isn't it? 
I was in Fuggles the other night, and a lot of them are going for sours. The sour yeah. beers. And it's oh, like, I don't I want it. it. I don't want it. I love a good sour. There's loads good. of them in there. And it's like, well, give me a nice hoppy, yeah. hoppy session IPA. And they didn't really have it. You every, say that everyone was always going to move on from IPA at some point, though. Well, well, yeah, and a bad, but I will say a bad IPA is not great, but a bad sour is fucking awful. Yeah, you might as yeah. well throw it away. Yeah. A bad sour makes you look like this. I mean, in my opinion, <laughs> I, I like an Elvis juice from Boo Dog, mm. um, but that's about as sour as I want to go, you know. Yeah. Weird. I'll tell you what, you want to get that. This is so we've got really beery, but. In a can, it tastes different than in a bottle. The bottles yeah. of Elvis juice, I don't think are very nice at all. It's, it, the grapefruit comes in really strong, fake grapefruit. I, I think all beers taste different in the different cans containers. and bottles. Yeah, it's just really Elvis juice. I find uh, uh, like difficult to get through half a bottle if it's in a bottle. I really don't but, like it. Bud in a can is a disaster. Bud in anything. Bud, Bud in, in anything is awful. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good what, busy that, that, that said, not, that said, not bad in a can. <laughs> When it's really cold and it's a really hot day and the beer's really cold and you're thirsty, you can nick a can of bud and it's all right. You've got, you've no, got. On so the six days in the UK that it's really hot, you can justify drinking bud. You've got to nick the bud because it holds its gas for about three seconds. They do quite a good. They don't do a bad zero percent alcohol one actually, bud. I've heard that. I suppose it couldn't get any worse than the original taste. Anyway, what was I even on? Over zero, anyway, from the beginning. <clears throat> I have a Dvar. Oh shit! I keep doing that. Dvar twenty-two uh, with one of R- 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 Rick Tip from um, uh, uh, Modmaker. Tip with no chip. Yeah, uh, a drip tip with no chip. Uh, and in that is a lemon crack. Yeah, lemon cracks in that. And what's that on top of the Aegis? Uh, Geek Bait. Aegis X. It's quite good. I've got his little brother, um, Edvar 16, on top of a Proton Mini, and that's got crack current in it. Both the current, both the cracks are 50 milligram. When did I'm... you get that Proton? Uh, Mr. Toddington, I bought it. Oh, off. I remember that. So buy it, nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you did, yeah. yeah. I couldn't remember, I know he's a sod for not accepting my money, but I think I got there quick. And he sent me some free stuff and I gave it away. Uh, yeah, I normally use it in the shop as a tester to fire on because it's quite easy because it's got a big fire button <clears throat> but no, i've nicked it it's funny how you're not precious about the mods you use john you just use any old shit you've got artisan mod and you will use something like that yeah <laughs> and you don't care it's good it's good i just put it in my pockets i've got i've got so many mods but uh the other... use, but not mods oh no give it, i say that every single thing i've ever had i've only sold I've sold one atomizer in eight years. The rest of them, I'll be, uh, I'll be honest, I've uh, given away to charity. What and uh, oh, I've done oh, that. Here we go. He's throwing that card out. <laughs> I've done it with mods. I never give it. I never give away mods that've been given to me, uh, and they mean something to me. So I've still obviously got a Dacus, a Bonner. Uh, I paid for the artisan. Um, yeah, anything that anyone's given to me, I'm a, I'm a sentimental prick. I have them all. Um, but yeah. use them, right? I, how do you know that? I don't use them on the show. Shut up. Right. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I've set, set it up my auto cue. Prick. Are we yeah, doing I'm news? Richard. No, me. Oh, yeah. What are you doing, man? Hey, how are you? How's, 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 your, how's your cat? This guy. Right. Vaping on lots of stuff. But due to China's little um, break from making stuff, I, I've, I've actually had a chance to sort out my actual stuff that I like. So I've been actually vaping the good stuff. Uh, so back on the Enduro, still my favourite DTL tank, oh. and that's on the Mustang, and that's good. I've also got my Creek RDA, Creek RDA on the uh, top side. That looks good. I like that. The Creek out. RDA is absolutely tremendous. Uh, RDA, um, and I've got the Kelpie on the block, <laughs> and I've got the Depro on the thing. In here. The juice in here is this. Dug this out the back. Anyone want to guess what this is? I thought it's now or never for this. Look how dark it's getting. That is... That's a custard. It's a, it's a custard. Yeah. No. Nope. Tobacco. Oh. It's a... It's Dem 2. Ah, tobacco. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back, down the back. 
that stuff. All it's got, stuff. It's got vanilla in it as well, so it would have gone that dark. Bubble black with vanilla as well. It's still a good juice, though. I, I know, still got it. I like Dem2. Yeah, Dem2 is good. It's good. Yeah. It's, and it, it's mellowed, actually. It does. It's mellowed with its age. Uh, so that's the thing I'm drinking. It would have. It's a fucking pensioner from the looks of things. Yeah, no. yeah that's, it's on its. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a bit more of this. As soon as it's starting to look a bit, it's gone. Uh, drinking. As soon as it's starting to look a bit, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> drinking uh, a cheeky pill. Sherry? Pilsner from Burton on Trent. Uh, Kaling, 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 Carling. Black Label Limited Edition. Oh, cool! Yeah, <laughs> cool. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's, got, it's got a lovely. Uh... Got a good nose. Oh yeah. Do you remember the sad thing though? That, that's, that's all it's got. Got. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. That's the best selling beer in the UK. Yeah, it's incredible. But it's cheap, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. There's still that dumbfounding. That's the best selling beer in the UK, Carlin Black Label. You'd think, oh, no, it must be, you know, Stella or Bud. Nope, Carlin Black Label. It really does taste like a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? Like, that's, it's almost like that. Like, and it's not like they've not had chance. It says on it, 1840. <laughs> no, two, no, no, 200 no, years. 200, you think they 200 it. years and no one's gone. <laughs> Should we have a look at that? Uh... <laughs> I, you know why, though? It's because the chief tester's a shire horse. Hey, up, lad, still okay. It's a stray <laughs> dog. There's something you don't see much these days is the old Hofmeister. Do you remember the old Hofmeister? Yeah, don't see Hofmeister and the Hofmeister bear. No. Yeah, follow the bear. I used to follow the bear. If you ever go to Blackpool and you get up front, you try and find anything that's not Carly Black Label, I think you're mad. <laughs> Unless they've got Tetley's. Unless they got te- yeah, you can have boy either or yeah, <laughs> that's all they've got. Part of Tetley mixed. <laughs> We've got eight pumps for a Tetley and four a Cali Black Label. That's what used to be in the pubs, though, wasn't it? There were two bitters and two lagers. Mm. I, I remember, I remember a barman bragging he had Carling and Fosters <laughs> to me, and I said, "Why?" Just they they both just put you've, got have a, you've got to have a weak one and a strong one, haven't you? That's the general rule. You have Hurley down here. We've got the uh, Shepherd Neem pubs. You got you got you Veltins, and Veltins and down. Or you have Heineken and Stella. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Arangi Boom used to be a fiver for eight cans in Iceland. It was just down the road. Yeah, it's not a bad bad tipple. Gets fucking boring quick, doesn't it? But I tell you what, Hurleyman's doesn't get boring. Because you get in a fight within three pints. <laughs> Got other beers. There's actually a new beer shop opening up near, here down by me on Saturday, which I'm keen to go check out. A new craft bar. Yeah, oh, excellent. I like it. They might have Carl in Black Label, if you're lucky. They, pro- they probably will. This is Kent, after all. If you, if you walk in to craft a really Carlin. trendy beer pub and you just go, what have you got that tastes like John Smith? <laughs> I still remember saying that to uh, when uh, Nick Gr- Mr. Grim of Green went to the pub in London <laughs> and I was really drunk. And it's just weirdly, I have one moment of clarity, which is me saying to Nick, Oh, Nick, what are you drinking? And he said, um, Can I have uh, a, John, a John Smith's? And I said, Tastes like you're in ashtrays and basically shit, but if that's what you want, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a reasonable thing to say to a man, is it? Uh, thank you to everyone in chat. We've got Cuz is in, Dean's in, Ali's in, Stuart, Dave, Pajenko, Jibby, Paula Dean, in there, look. That's Ian, Paula. Stephen, Paula is Pajanko. Or Yanko, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, you didn't. Showing her age there, 73. Do the maths. Barney Ali's in there. Uh, 22. So that, clearly, yeah. She knows seven, she's 73. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Uh, so there we go. That's an actual thing. So uh, thank you for joining us in chat. Don't forget to smash that like and uh, join in because it's going to be superb. Let's let's dive in. Let's let's deep dive the week's news, John. Okay, um, who we go first? Should we just touch on Corona? Corona. Yeah. How's good. everyone feeling about it? Are we doing Corona <laughs> first? Just just <laughs> on the table. Yeah. Just. <laughs> I haven't got any vape-specific corona news to bring you, other than oh, it does yeah. seem like 
it does seem like the wheels of business have begun turning in China again. <coughs> which, yeah. we'll, which we'll see with the new product announcements that we'll show later on. We have, we have got Corona news is the first one from uh, CBS News. Oh, all right then. Oh, CBS. Let's look. I've got that. Yeah. yeah. Here, CBS. Uh, oh, oh, susceptibility. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, do you yeah. want to run with that then? I'll run with that one then. <coughs> CBS does yes. vaping CBS. make you more susceptible? The cinema, not the news. Yes. Does vaping make you more susceptible to coronavirus? I've got to skip the first um, three. Uh, here we go. Last summer, the trend that led to a disturbing uptick. What the fuck is that? In deaths and serious respiratory illnesses among otherwise young, healthy people, in many cases believed to be linked to THC or vitamin E acetate that individuals were unknowingly ingesting through vaping liquids. And now experts caution that a vaping habit might also make young people in the US more susceptible to coronavirus based on no science at all. In a brief, in a press briefing on Monday, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio revealed that despite the fact that older people are generally most at risk of serious illness from coronavirus, one of the current cases in New York is an otherwise healthy 22 year old man. Uh, he loves that New York he fucking loves it. <sighs> Fuck me. Sorry, this is the shitty million adverts. Thank you so much. Um, well, be, why is it tw- be reading it for a bit? Anyway, you should have digested it. I have digested it. Why is a twenty-two-year-old man? S- why is a twenty-two-year-old man stable but hospitalised at this point? The one fact we know of: he is a vapor. The Blasio said. So we don't know of any pre-existing conditions. So we're just making up stuff. But we do think the fact that he is a vapor is affecting this situation based on nothing. On Monday, the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention of uh, and Prevention reiterated its guidance that older Americans and people with medical conditions such as the uh, sorry, like cardiovascular disease, heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, chronic lung disease are most susceptible to coronavirus. But uh yeah, what they've done is just added the word vapor. He, all they know is there's a twenty two year old man who is currently hospitalized but in a stable condition and they are They've decided based on nothing at all that uh, it, it could be because he's a vapor. Right, well, if he's a vapor, he was a smoker. If yep. he's a smoker, then there's respiratory potential issues. So, jog on. It's a double, plus, it's double clickbait headline, isn't it? Of course, it's yeah, just yeah, absolute yeah. shit. Yeah, you've got vaping and you've got corona, so the media are going to be all over that. Absolute nonsense, yeah. Um, thank you to the mayor of New York. How is everyone jo- feeling about it, though? Other than the fact that I'm down to one roll of toilet paper and I can't fucking buy any within a 10 mile radius of my house, I feel great. You just got to hold it in a bit longer, mate. Hold it in. <laughs> Only have one a day. I want it every couple of days. I'll tell you what, go to McDonald's. Cheeky no, there is. You know what? Down, burger on the toilet. down in our local, we, we've got. We actually, I'm, I'm, I'm more likely to wipe with the cheeseburger than eat it. I'm a little ashamed to say, but we've actually got. Asda in Tumblr. <laughs> That's all right. Everyone's no, got an Asda. Not, mate. It's not all right. It's not high enough class for us. But if you go down there, they've got these toilets. They've got toilets, and people have been robbing the loo rolls out of the toilets. They've been <laughs> stealing <laughs> stuff from <laughs> everywhere. Um, it's not nailed down. down. To go to coronavirus, I, my, as I said to somebody yesterday, I, I feel now that there are two the main distinct camps in the, in the UK. We've got camp one, it's just like a, it's just like a cow, isn't it? I don't really give a shit. I'll get it, get rid of it. I'm just going to carry on, whatever. Uh, then we've got, it's the end of the world, we need toilet paper and pasta. They're the other camp. And I feel that of these two camps, where you want to be, it's, it's right in the middle. It's right in the middle. Maybe wash your hands um, and don't give other people uh, a virus. And uh... Stop licking people's eyeballs. All right. Eyeballs don't get personal. Right. That was something I told you. Why are we doing that on the show, Richard? It's not Just noses it. and mouths. Keep it in your hands. You can lick do, eyeballs. Do you, do you reckon it spread so fast in Italy because they kiss each other on the cheek? I was wondering this. Don't wash your hands, do they? Don't wash their cheeks. New lot used to buy blooming super soft bottles. 
<laughs> no one's buying them now, are they? I saved you from it. I saved you from Vineyard. it. Vineyards. I think that, well, I, I was, we were talking about this earlier between us, and I think it's because uh, lots of generations of Italians live in, in one house. They have a family. Yeah. You could generally live with their parents. I don't think the kids I, I are little snot not. bags. <laughs> no, I saw a really good interview, not an interview, a bit on an American, it's actually on an American TV show. A, a celebrity <laughs> so, doctor. Oh, um, I, think, I think it meant friends. No. Oh, yeah. doctor. Better than that. But, uh, <laughs> Now, and he was having a go at the media because for whipping up a storm over not not that much. And mm. people are saying people are saying coronavirus is more contagious, more dangerous than flu. It is. That that is not. No, uh, no, it is. No, 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 it is. No, it is. It, it is. is. It is. It doesn't make any difference. Statistically, it is more dangerous. Statistic. What statistics, John? Um, so, if you take it, it, just hold hold fire, right? Well, I'll, if, I'll tell you. I think if we take the if have... we take the mortality rate of flu, which is is about one percent, and yeah. we take point two to point four, yeah, point two to point four of cases of reported of flu, of flu. We're talking oh, about. Oh, that, or look at. But if you look at Corona, wait, 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 Co Corona. The average seems to be three point four. Depending. No, no, the average. <laughs> but it is because you the can count death, death, from it. Yes, yeah, but John, you can't. But you can't. He, this doctor was saying, I, 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 I understand how many people have had this, not even realised they've had it and got over it. So that stat doesn't hold up. I, 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 reckon, there's so many hundreds of thousands. They take that into account it. when they do the mortality calculation. <laughs> well, they uh, do. They well, they, not in this current three point. Well, how can so. they? If, if I get coronavirus, I don't report that I've got it and I get over it. But it's the well, same thing with flu. You don't report that you have flu when you die. Well, the the thing is, it, even if you take statistical anomalies into account, it still would make it twice as deadly as flu. It, it, it isn't. It is does seem to be more contagious. And the other thing is, we don't have a vaccination against it, and there will not be a vaccination against it, for, but and uh, for at least six months, if not a yeah, year. There's no herd yeah. immunity. Yeah, so it is more dangerous than the flu. I know well, we'll... That, yeah, for that because of no vaccine. Yeah, exactly. It, so it is. I know it sounds really stupid, and it does. We all want to kind of say uh, the, uh, the media are overreacting, but then the, the you can't. If you there's two. This is what I said. The camps are overreact and underreact. But just go in the fucking middle. I'll tell you what. Though, I'll tell you what. Fast and Furious Nine has been delayed twelve months. So every cloud. <laughs> what. <laughs> As if I've seen any of them. I think I saw the Every first plan. one ever. For this shit. I think the it's majority almost people, worth it, isn't it? My yeah. thought is the majority of people who get coronavirus won't even know they've got coronavirus. Yeah, the majority of people will, but it's the uh, big 1 percent or three percent, whichever you like. No, I don't I can't it's believe it. It's that. incredibly <clears throat> dangerous in the vulnerable, isn't it? And that's Yeah, problem. in the vulnerable, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Paul is saying, Nick, sorry, you, uh, Paul is just correcting that, that me. You're ridiculously close to the vulnerable sect of the market. Um, I would just say, I've got to go with a correction. Oh, Paul has just corrected me with uh, 0.1% um, uh, death from flu. Is your, yeah. is your chance of dying is 0.1%. So one in a thousand. And, and the lowest calculation for death rate for corona is 1%. Mm, oh, it's up to well, uh, with the current figures, uh, John Mark has just posted it is six percent is what who are coming out with at the moment. But no, you're yeah. you'd still not. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. They're neither of them. Are, I'm, I'm agreeing that the it's not are correct. Just way off because he, yeah. an old person who with respiratory problems will be the first one down the fucking hospital saying, oh, yeah. "Can you test me for coronavirus?" Where the healthy fella, he's just oh, I'll I'll ride it out. He's, exactly, but they're the the, the problem. But then the problem lies. We've got we, we've kind of made our own bed. It's demented. We've because people who aren't suffering symptoms, and if you're on a zero hour contract, what are you going to do? You're going to go to work, and then more people are going to catch it. And that's the that's the issue, isn't it? And to be honest, if you're over thirty, you're going to get symptoms. Well, to be honest, if you're one of those people that's going to work, and you catch it, there's more than likely going to be fine from it. If you're well it enough depends, to go to work, you're probably not going to have rest. If they work in a care home, they're going to kill everyone. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, obviously. You go. Yeah. Or, or if you work in a hospice, don't forget lots of the people who work in care homes oh, are on zero. Yeah, and they're, they're the on people zero they're hour contracts from, though, aren't they? This yeah. is the problem. 
But then, I said, then it's only going to get worse. If, they, if somebody goes in on a zero-hour contract and they're 20 and they're not really symptomatic, they could take out everybody in the care. If they go into a hospice, um, say you've got 60 residents in a hospice who are on end of life, I know they're going to yeah, die anyway. anyway. Yeah, I know, but it seems a bit much to wipe them all so out in a bad. weekend. Well, some might live. You do? God, one might live. I don't know. I think we just. I think the. I think the main point is be try and be as sensible as you can. If you are symptomatic, I'm not going to say stay. I don't know what to do. If you're going to get no money and you can't pay your rent, I. I think the system is shit. I mean, don't stuff. freak out about it and buy all the loo roll and pasta. Yeah, please, because we won't. <laughs> yeah, because uh, no, there's no plans to close supermarkets. They might close schools. That's and point. I bet you, bet you, <laughs> even even Italy, they're not closing supermarkets. No, I bet you toilet roll everything else. Companies supermarkets aren't stop producing toilet roll. No, they're loving it. Those little puppies <laughs> <laughs> running around like Billy, aren't they? <laughs> and they can't make it fast enough. Those dogs. <laughs> Uh, yes. Right. So that's that, enough that's, argument about that's, that. that's that one. Oh, on, uh, on, a, on a similar, on a slightly similar note, due to the the politics with it, and and I don't know how accurate this is, but um, the son, who never it's not been, accurate, never been, never, been, never, been, <laughs> never been wrong before. They immediately reported after the budget that cigarettes, uh, cost of cigarettes to go up to twelve pounds seventy three a pack. I saw that somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. It was the only thing they didn't put up the price that he didn't touch beer. Uh, beers and ciders, uh, and left fuel duty alone. Like, that was my favourite one. <laughs> also, apparently, there's a recurring thing within it. So, in this government, it will go up the same amount every year that this government is in office. So that's I a think, recurring um, increase. I can't, I've got no problems with the, them putting yeah. taxes like that. But, but, but make it twenty quid if you want people to quit. Make it twenty. I just quid. don't yeah. know if that does make people quit or not. I don't know. It doesn't. No, in, in, incremental changes don't make any difference. They, they should not, really they look at, they should take the stats. They should, this is where stats could come into play. They should look and work out how much it costs the health service to to to, to not heal, not... not. It doesn't. Oh, That's smokers, the problem. Smokers are massively in credit. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 don't, they? Cost, they don't cost the NHS anything. It's, 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 that's always been bollocks. Well, what do they do when they get lung cancer then? Well, over a lifetime, yeah, they'll have spent over a lifetime. Oh, yeah, they've spent paid for the entire war. Pay for the no problem at all, and they'll be dead quick. Oh, well, everyone they've dies. always paid. Everyone needs that bed at some point. Um, <coughs> so yeah. anyway, it made me wonder what the price was when I quit. Oh. So I got the graph. Uh, okay, it goes okay. all the way back to two thousand and five. The graph is on screen now. I think it was about six pounds sixty ish. So did it, you you quit twenty eleven twenty twelve? Oh, in 2012. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I thought you said 2005. No, 20, yeah, no. Tw- oh, sorry. It's 2012 mm-hmm. to 2013. I quit, so yeah, it was that, about that seven pounds ten. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, um, yeah. but that means it's virtually doubled. It's virtually doubled since mm. most of us started, which is it's an astronomical amount. You know, it, it's I I was really staggered. And it's just going up and up and up. That graph is a constant line all the way to the top. If it, if it really doesn't cost as much as a tax to treat these people, they're taking the piss, aren't they, really? They're no, because it it's a deterrent. I'll go against it in that case. No, it's a deterrent, though, isn't it? What For what? For what? Why are they? Why do they want to because deter it's it's you to shit. not smoke? It's they, don't. Right. they want you to keep smoking. That's why they put why it do up they, a Why bit. do they want to stop you from smoking? They want they they, they, they don't. That's they why want, they put it up a quid no, they, instead no, of they want twenty. To, the the excuse is you put it down. They want to discourage you from smoking in yeah, the same way that petrol tax is quite high because they want to dis. But that's nanny state, isn't it? From isn't, using too isn't much that nanny state though telling you what you should and shouldn't be doing as if you can't I'm not, make? I'm, your not, I'm not saying it's a good thing. The tax is a good thing. I just I'm just astounded by how much it, it is, is incredible. Like, it's, it, it, it's an, there's no product like it on the planet. That if you were, if you were, bang for buck gives that much back to the government. Could you imagine if you've been smoking since, say, I mean, I started smoking in uh, about 1993, 94. Uh, Ten bents was about a quid. Um, so twenty would have been about what, one pound eighty. You still like see it. it. You still see it abroad as well, though. Even and I'm not talking about like if you go to Cambodia for a week. Um, if you go to like Greece, it's relatively cheap isn't it yeah it's not not, not you expensive. go to some of these southeast asian places where they want to keep you smoking or anywhere in asia actually yeah. they want you to smoke Th- thailand it's a pound yeah 20 bags when i left 
this South Africa was about yeah, just over a pound for a pack of smokes. Fuck, it's mad. It's mad, isn't it? I remember when I was a kid, I, when I first started smoking, I could buy 20 fags for... You know what? There was a, I used to get a quid dinner money. I could go to the shop. I could either buy 10 John Player specials yep. or I could buy 20 Red Band from Spa, own yep. brand, for about £1 and 10p for 20 fags. Unbelievable. But, <laughs> but just look, that that price increase... I was only twelve. A thousand percent, more than a thousand percent increase since then. Oh, in my lifetime, Sasa yeah. might have beaten you. He said oil. <laughs> <laughs> oil. I mean, it's an interesting time for oil, isn't it? It's down yeah. to thirty dollars a barrel, isn't it? So, so there we go. There we go. I just thought. I just. I'm yeah, yeah. I think it's continually shocked by that, and hopefully, as a result of that latest budget, more people try vaping. That's the hope. I think they will. Money does pay a play a part in it. I think. Uh, you wanted to talk, go on, John. Sorry, I was going to say, are you going to say what I want to talk about? Uh, bacteria. Yeah, I want to talk about that. That's exactly what I was going to skip to. Forget the Flux magazine, let's go for this. Um, it was a question I asked. It was a question, sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> it was a question I asked uh, either while I was on holiday or just before I went, I can't remember. Um, there's a fact that <clears throat> we've got, uh, let me just um, top this off with this. Uh, there's a in vaping, we, we we go super analytical on uh, negative articles. Oh, see, Elvis juice. I see. I think the grapefruit's Elvis really time. up in Elvis the bottle. The building. It's lucky dip it. It's out the back from Christmas. See if you can see what I mean. Um, if so, sorry, we're we're super. We're, we're very. We go Sherlock Holmes on every negative vaping article, but we don't do the same for. Um, Positive ones. Uh, positive ones. Yeah, I'm just going to... Who posted the bloody thing? Right. So... I, and we all... I've heard this. We, I think a lot of people have heard this. Uh, I think I've even said it on the show before because it's bullshit. Uh, 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 PG, propylene glycol, uh, one of the main ingredients in the liquids we vape, is antibacterial and is used... is currently used in hospital air conditioning systems um that is that is the fact that we see banded around i've seen written down a lot of times mm -hmm. is it still used no right it was and once wasn't it no oh did, no okay it was used for purifying air of some description in some things once it's really dubious the article uh, okay so basically, what it actually comes from is a crossover of two things. Um, uh, PG was used in air conditioning systems as a substitute for another glycol. Someone's going to probably, hopefully, someone put it in there. Thing. Um, uh, basically, because it was cheaper. That was the only reason. It, it doesn't do, it's not antibacterial. It was just sort of cheaper. Uh, we actually, when I asked the question in the group, I had a couple of uh, people, uh, Andy Fairchild being one of them, who's a, a buildings project manager, and he's uh, and has worked in hospitals, never, ever seen anything to do with propylene glycol in there. Oddly, I thought air conditioning in a hospital ward, I, I kind of was suspicious because I'd never seen it. My wife works in a hospital, so I asked Mrs. John, do you have air con? in the hospital and have you ever had air con in any hospital she said no nah. nice you get the odd minute. or the odd side room might have air con but apart from that no because there's lots of other things you've got to test for legionnaires and stuff anyway so it kind of came from that's one example of the bullshit and the second one is this <clears throat> this is from the uh ncbi this is the article that it, a lot of people get the information from uh, the bacterial action of propylene glycol vapor on microorganisms in suspended air. That is actually uh, a study from 1942, is actually what they're talking about. And when they talk about atomized PG, they're talking about an, an atomizer in the middle of the room, like you would use a, an oil uh, atomizer, uh, 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 well, like essential oil atomizer okay. now. Um, 
A study of the conditions which affect the bacterial action of propylene glycol vapor on air suspended microorganisms is not uh, like microorganisms has been carried out. The killing process was found to be more effective when both the total number of airborne droplets and the number of organisms and the bacteria suspended are small. A temperature below 80 Fahrenheit and an atmosphere relative humidity between 45 and 70 percent were found to constitute the most favorable conditions. Basically, it's just a really, really small study that means effectively fuck all. From PG, nearly 80 years ago. You could just, you could just atomize uh, white vinegar. And, I don't and have think the anyone same really thing. took that seriously. Though. Well, I think they did. I've seen it. I've though. seen it many, many times. It's quoted as, as, as an air cleaner. And lots of people are saying that uh, anecdotally. Uh, if you vape, you have less colds. But uh, Richard, you kind of touched it earlier when we were talking about the 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 vapor who's got uh, coronavirus, and it's that that's what it is. That's that's why he's that's why it's hit him bad. And we and we went. Well, you, you said it. Well, I used to be a smoker. <clears throat> you don't get as many colds now as you did when you were a smoker <clears throat> because you're not. Putting inhaling yeah, burning not, hot we're not smoke. We're not good live subjects on it, are we? Terrible, absolutely because dreadful. I, I would say I have, well, since I've been vaping, I've hardly had any colds in all these years. But, but you smoked. I'm not smoking now, so exactly. Uh, you don't forget you're affecting your immune system all the time. The, all the hairs on the inside of your lungs that, that you, you burn off with. I sneeze. I air. sneeze a lot now. I, I have done for quite a few years. I've sneezed quite a lot. Uh, I, said, I, don't, I, just, I, don't, I think it's just the nose hairs and stuff coming. coming I back. certainly yeah, get less colds. Not used to being hairy anymore. I certainly get less colds than I did. But it's funny that we dismiss we dismiss negative stuff so easily, and we accept positives so readily when you just think, "Well, that's ridiculous." If we don't critically think about both, then to anybody who's neutral, we look like absolute fuckwits. Well, I'm we sure say I read somewhere that PG could cure the AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that as well. <laughs> but I'll tell you Something what, Philip, Philip Schofield vapes, doesn't he? So, well, there you go. He, just no, he, hasn't he, got he doesn't. Bunk, it? He uses that that thing, doesn't he? He uses. Uh, oh, he not burnt. Yeah. Schwartzy had a good point, though. Oh. <laughs> is PG? Oh, and he's fucking gone. Um, is PG actually used in nebulizers? It's used in asthma inhalers. I know that. It yeah. is. Sorry, it is. I just turned my camera off. I had to blow my nose because ah, Rick made me laugh. Got the freaking virus. No, Rick you made snot. Rick virus. made snot fly out of my nose when he said AIDS because he's a tosser. Um, it is used. It's, it's part of the propellant in them um, both. It's not actually used. It's not. It's inert. It's not used for its anti no. supposed antibacterial properties. No, it's, it's there's, an <laughs> no, it's ventilin is what's in an inhaler that what's opens the worst your one to ask the question that you might know then, John. What's that? Is PG and VG used in cough medicine? Because I always thought it was. VG is, but again, it's inert. It doesn't do anything. It, mm. in, oh, in it's, any, anti it's in shampoo. Yeah, it's fine. It, but, oh, yeah, and it's in bubble bath. I know, yeah. Uh, vegetable glycerin, which is used in boots and you can drink it, it, it has the same effect it's as... It's congestion. No, or something. no, it's exactly got the same. Make your poo smooth. It's one right. in five a day. Go and pick up any, you know that uh, Coronia, that shit. Corvonia. Or, or yeah, whatever Corvonia. the fuck. Not you know that one? <laughs> Is it called Corvonia? Whatever. Oh, you know? Corvonia. We have bull on it. Any of those lictus things, mm -hmm. medically, if you've got a cold, we know there's no cure for the common cold. They do nothing. The same as VG does nothing. VG is cheaper. Drink that because it doesn't do anything, uh, and neither does that shit. Things you can make, you can do with VG and PG. Yeah, uh, it is. But lots of things. It's in there. It's it's used as a, a it's used as a thinner, or it's used as lots of things. And it's we know it does an agent for the nicotine and the flavour. Yeah, it's found, it does it really really well, and it does it. In, uh, it's a great uh, what, a thing to spend ventilin in and, and using inhalers. And everyone in chat says the board. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Even Mark Toss plans to move on. Okay. It says either move on or start talking about heat flux. Let's talk about heat flux. Sorry. Uh, no, okay, so uh, we have other things we need to talk about. We need to <laughs> tell people about this. Bang! What are we talking about? New products? No, well, the newest of new products. Official merch. <gasps> yes. We have a t-shirt. <laughs> 
We, designed. We have a T-shirt uh, in conjunction with the Peril. You can now get yourself uh, the new Ohm Show official T-shirt. Um, it's the if anyone gets a chance uh, that's watching, put a link to the Peril Facebook group in chat, please. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I owe Mark one pound twenty three now. Um, <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> he super chatted. It was a joke. Uh, so basically, if you want a T-shirt, it's a limited run. It's a one-time thing. It ends this week. Um, if you want a T-shirt, go on the the Peril Facebook group and uh, get yourself one. Uh, in the picture, it's black, but you can have whatever colour you want. And we go all the way up to five XL. And uh, the so if you went Sally to pitch Hopkins. a tent at Glastonbury, you can buy a shirt instead. Brad, we've told you that's fifty percent of our audience is five XL. <laughs> No, fifty percent of our audience are four XL, five uh, XLs. Outrageous, yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so, so if you'd like a T-shirt, get one, uh, and uh, get one now, or, or or you will be disappointed. Um, yeah, grab coming. I've, 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 bought, I've, I've bought one. I've Rich bought, has bought I've two. Bought, I've bought two. I bought one. <laughs> one for when I'm fatter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, gravity. Show. I think they really are fantastic. We really like them, but they do kind of show off the obsession with with beer, which I think we always do every single week. Yeah, and, um, and they're really good. Like uh, they're they're going to be the same t shirts as the uh, IBM, IBM t shirts, which I was got... like literally taken aback by how nice the actual t shirt itself was. <laughs> um, usually, that you know, like Fruit of the Loom or whatever, they're awful, but. Um, <laughs> Well, that's, Dom's the better, got that's the better end of it, actually, through, through the load. Well, what, worse you, know the, than that. you know the ones that come out and they're like I, hard. You know? Yeah, and they, I hate the yeah, ring spun bullshit and they just shrink. But no, they're not. It's good. I like it. So that's uh, a thing. If you want a T-shirt, get one now or be disappointed. Um, that's your official warning. And we won't be able to tell you next week. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll do something. I'll do a, I'll do a, I'll do a, I'll do a thing right now, just in case you miss it. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write t-shirt, and I'm gonna buy somebody watching right now a t-shirt. You have to be a member of the Facebook group, so I'm gonna make a post called t-shirt. If you just put uh, yes, please, in the Ideal Home Show on Facebook dot Ideal Home Show, the new Home Show on Facebook dot co dot uk or dot com, they both work. Um, I'm going to make a post on there, and if you just write yes, please, I'll enter you into a draw, and uh, you can win an, a, 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 a new home show t shirt. An exclusive new home show t shirt. If uh, you've got till the end of the show, by the if way, you've already the bought a tea, off. don't forget uh, cups available, cups, pen holders, all good bookshops. Um, so that's an actual thing. Uh, <laughs> right, new stuff, new stuff. Uh, the first thing, it's not super new. It's kind of slipped through our net. Is it the net? Is it the net slipper five hundred? <laughs> it, it isn't. We'll cover that next oh, okay. week. Um, it's but it's very us. It's very us. It's an affordable like mouth to lung tank. Uh, it's the Cree from Gas Mods. Um, we're fans of Gas Mods, and uh, this is their new tank, and it's out. And uh, here are some pictures of it on screen. Uh, it's, it's a mouth to lung jobby. Um, there's a glass tank and a poly tank available. Um, it's, it ticks all the right boxes. If I show you the pictures of the deck, um, it comes with all these inserts. You can go all the way down to 0.8 for super tight mouth to lung, uh, all the way up to 2, 3, to three mil, I think, or something like that for the very loose vape. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a cream mouth to lung. It's got uh, <laughs> it's got Sorry. the classic what has become seems to be coming the standard mouth to lung deck with the coil the S shaped coil one lead point one way one lead point the other um, it, and it I think it's quite a pretty quite a pretty I do I think it's quite pretty well. how I much are we talking glass it, bell. it's a it's a twenty quid job oh it's very reminiscent of quid, like four years ago I like it a bit of like a retro y kind of look and like uh, people are saying because this is out you can get this. Uh, it's fully available. People have got it, and they're talking about it. And the consensus is not shit. So uh, nice. So that's the thing. Oh. Mm. So that's the first new thing. Uh, the next new thing is the uh, Vaporesso O small, um, <laughs> which is uh, Vaporesso's new pod. 
Uh, they've just announced this. We're just, I'm just, I'm just pleased that people are announcing new vape gear. I think uh, is yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. main thing with this. Uh, so this is their new pod system. Now, it be I believe it's going to be using the C cell coils, um, which uh, there's a lot of fans of on the group. Um, so this is the uh, Vapor SO O small. It's kind of like Inikin's pod systems. It's sort of that size, that shape. Um, but if you're a Vaporeso fan, then they may appeal. Uh, pictures on screen of those. Uh, the next thing. It does look. Is it? it, it <laughs> will it work? That's the only thing. Mm. It, in the same way that like the Inicom ones do, you know. Yeah, not very well. <clears throat> I remember that. I, I, yeah, not a fan. Of the Inicom ones. The we'll see. The next... I think it's it's more RT farty than it is. As pe those progress. Those, though, they do quite well that style for whatever reason. I think new. Papers kind of understand how simple yeah. they are and it fits in your pocket. It's all one piece, you know. It seems to thing. The next thing that is new that's been announced this week um, is the Hot Sig Sniper. Um, and this is very on trend. This is uh, what you know, one of these AIO type things, a bit like the Boost. Um, it's got a nice big color screen. It's 18650 powered. It's an AIO pod kit. Um, it will eventually have a rebuildable. It will be using uh, coils that are various, various types of coils will fit in here. Fancy oh, patterns. Nice that. Um, yeah, I think the one question mark just from this picture is what the adjustable airflow situation is going to be. Because it I looks. I have a different question. Go on. What the fuck? Who goddamn let the marketing department go do that shit and? Put it on a pile of bullets. Yeah. I think, do you know what it is? I think we're completely run out of names. We're com yeah. completely run out of English and words. And they got, I mean, they got really desperate because they're just handgun ammo. And then it's just that's really a, badly that's, photoshopped on. They don't even have any bullets. Two, two rounds. Oh, I reckon that's a 38. But they put them, anyway, they just put them there. And they're, they're not. They're just, they're just photoshopped on, aren't they? Yeah, I might, to be honest, as you say, it's on trend. That's exactly what you want from an AIO type device right now. You want a uh, battery. Part. You want yeah. that 18650 thing. Oh, I like the 18650 thing. That, you that's want what the triggered my variable wattage on screen. You want to be able to see your juice level, <coughs> and you want, for some reason, you want these crazy patterns on the side. Yeah, that seems to be do. another staple of these things. More excitingly, didn't know that you wanted it. That's. <laughs> You say that I've had I've had I've had phone calls at work from people saying they want a very specific, mm. like designed or pattern I on think, there. So I think this was the peak, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, that beautiful. is what a what a stonker that is. <laughs> Mind you, this isn't far off with this weird hand symbol. <laughs> oh. um, classy stuff. Um, so those are, those are a thing, but Rick, get excited. Why? Because I know that none of the things I've shown have floated your boat up to this point. Look, I can see his pre moist I can't see what you're going to show me anyway. Good I can point. see his pre-moist face. I can um, just do that. Yeah, just do that. Um, oh, what oh. I'm about to show now is a new RDA from the designer it, of... There's a bit of a delay. There's quite a bit of a delay. From the designer of uh, the Goon, Rick. The designer oh, yeah. of the Goon has collaborated on a new RDA. It is the Rye. Uh, and I will put it on screen now. It's the right. It's a brand new RDA. It's kind of Blue-eyed goon and 99 wraps collaborating on the Rye RDA. It's going to be goon-esque, but with improved airflow. <laughs> now we're all on the screen. <laughs> Lots of time. You keep holding it there. Eventually, it's going to be forever. Yeah. So this is it. This is this brand new RDA. It's it's. Uh, I think it's starting off limited run. I don't think they decided how they're going to oh. do it. It's on screen oh, okay. now, Rick. For you, I guess. But this is the this is it. This is the um, the Rye oh. RDA. Apparently, the name is uh, dedication to a coil builder who passed away, who was prominent on Instagram. It's friend of uh, Blue Eyed Goon. Apparently. Um, and this is it, this is it. We don't have any deck pictures, they're keeping the cards close to the chest, but I think it's sort of Goon-esque deck. Um, I'm sure it would be great, but do you know what? I'm still, my favourite Goon is the OG Goon. Yes. Yeah. Mm. What, what they're saying with this is they think they've really improved the airflow, both in smoothness, but also options. I guess, I guess you could say that the Goon literally just has those three settings 
Um, yeah. So there's going to be a cloud cap available for this as well, and they've got the slit, and they've got the holes, and you can literally choose either, both, whatever. I'm sure it'll do well, and I'm sure it'll vape mm. well, but it's more of the same. I've got 10 goons. I don't really want yeah, I've got I'm in, I'm interested. I think that's really good. I like I like seeing OG it, it, kind it, of stuff. It, it's going really to come do. down. It's going to come down to the deck. I think they're keeping that yeah. close to the chest at this point. Um, it's close to release, but not quite. You can pre-order, um, but they don't want to, for obvious reasons, they don't want to show the deck yet. Um, yeah. If it is just a goon deck, my excitement will wane. But I wouldn't. But to be it, honest, that's I sort of it past, I wouldn't put it past them to have. Tried something new as well, you know. I like yeah. the goon deck for the for the fact that it blocks off half the chamber, and that's what that's how why it works is because of the way it's made. Yeah, um, I, but I think I think that's quite. I do think that is quite an attractive thing. I, I, yeah, it's I, nice looking RDA. It's good I mean, to see a higher end RDA come out with that. That's going to be a lot of. It's really good, you know. Right. It's great to see some really super high end when there's forty. But I like seeing the last the last thing we want as a vaping community, is someone to make a great thing like the goon and just disappear. Exactly. Yeah, it's totally it's nice to see them come back again and again and again. So, I mean, the LP was an anomaly, but overall they, they mm. do good stuff. So, um, they'll be, yeah, I'm going to keep my eye on this one. Uh, it's, the goon hasn't been beaten in my eyes. It's still my favourite cloudy RDA. Yeah, likewise. That's the only one that I've actually got it here, but I don't use it very often, but it works. Yeah, it's a cracking idea. But I'm going to, uh, when we have deck picks, um, I'll show you. I might try and get one as well. There's a pre order on right now. I might pre order it because it's not too pricey. They've always been mid price, haven't they? They've always been. They're not pricey. No, they're good. They've, they've, they end up being in the shops for about 50 quid, don't yeah, they? Yeah, and I think and this they... one's 54. And they've got markup on it there, yeah. So there's. I might pre order one. Tempt, very tempted. Simply because I'm such a fan of the goo. Um, so that's a, that's a thing that's quite exciting. So there is new stuff floating about. So that's this is the first week where I've been continually inundated with new picks of stuff and releases and people emailing me about getting them and stuff like that. So uh, you know, it's it's things are hopefully slowly picking up. Um, so that's that's that that is that is the new stuff, which means we now need to catch up with you, Rick. Oh. <laughs> what's been going on what's been going on Rick well I haven't got much to report really I've just been taking a bit of a break from social media and hibernating for the winter a bit um, and yeah work's quite slow now Mod modding slowed down a lot um, and that's actually that draws me onto something I want to not to bring it down but um Bring the show down, but I like to pay my respects to somebody who passed away today, and that's yeah. Aid Boozville. He used to work with, used to work make toaster mods with yep. Mark McManus, mm. um, and he passed away sadly today. So um, I was looking at some of the old pictures because I remember he was quite prominent in the forum era. You know, yeah, yeah, it's, it's with uh, toaster yeah. mods. Yeah, so uh, so oh, I was, before toaster mods, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. I was pulling up the old pics of, of those. You know, people used to get really excited, and they're still still classy looking mods. You know, I think yeah, I mean, I, they, they were old school modders where they were sort of. <clears throat> I know. I don't actually know. He mainly did DNAs, I think, aid. But yeah. Mark back back in the day, Mark his partner in it. it we were making OKRs and OKLs, and that was. You know the height of of what was what could be done then, yeah. and they were doing that then. Um, but they haven't made anything for quite a, f a few years now, a couple of years at least. Um, so no, it's just it's just sad. I met him at Vape Fest once. That's the only I've only met him once, but I used to talk with him quite a bit on on on. Uh, even Facebook. after uh, even after finishing making or slowing down making stuff, he was still quite prominent. Um, advocacy wise, you're still constantly. Well, I mean, he up. had a vape shop, didn't he, as well? Yeah. So posting up petitions mm. and news, yeah. and things like and that. And he was no great age, you know. He's he's too young. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm sure it's private, but I don't know what what. Uh, I think I, I, it is private. I, it it looks as though it was expected a little bit. Um, only through people, only just just reading the post, and uh, people were were holding his hand on on, on Sunday and. And uh, you know, having a final word with him. So, yeah. um, 
Yeah. It's incredibly... Uh, and do I you know, know what was... It was heartwarming to see the fact that, A, though we'd kind of stepped away from social media, especially in the last couple of years, mm. um, it still, you know, still everybody rallied around. Uh, his, his daughter posted yesterday uh, that he'd passed away. And to see the amount of people who jumped on and um, and typed well, a little message... I commented on his wall today as well, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Nice just bit. post a little message so I think it was great I, I, um, so <clears throat> it's great that somebody is remembered for what they've done yeah. and everybody I mean Toaster everyone's heard of Toaster Mods everybody I know yeah. in, in our yeah. part of the, yeah. the community and it's obviously it's always sad to see somebody go and it's kind of I think that's the sort of like first one first person who's passed away this year and it's always a bit of a kick in the bollocks really yeah. I was saying that, I mean, that isn't, yeah. So, yeah, rest in peace. That's not a downer. Rest in peace, mate. Yeah, not a downer. So you, you don't want to be down about things. No, no, no. But no, so that's what? not what's happening with me, but that's what happened. Good, today. good call, you, Rick. Um, what have I been doing then? Uh, well, not, I've got a couple of things in the... Got a few in irons what? in the fire, aren't you? Oh, oh, oh. I'm not going to divulge. No, definitely at not. At this point, um, I'm not sitting on my hands with, with this downturn. I am, you know... Mod Maker's going nowhere, but it has slowed down a lot in the last two years. From right. the, the glory days of the 3D printed squonk, that was the height. Mm. Of- I'm not going to give away anything, but Rick is about to burst back into the limelight with something, and uh, you're all going to have to wait to see what Rick's going to do. I don't, are you, well, yeah, let's- yeah oh, he's going to. Oh, he likes doing himself yeah. down. Is, but he's going to be Yeah. Yeah, well, well, there's some there's some irons in fire, a couple of irons in fire. So I'm, I'm still trying, and we'll uh, see where it goes. Mm. Very, That's very good. Very work, exciting. Really. So we, think, so we just got to do top working. five wankers now. Yeah, I think we got to bring go go for go for Rick's top five wankers. Top five vaping wankers. Yeah, top okay. five vaping wankers. Right, okay. This has never gone wrong before. I'm not going to go <laughs> back here because I'm not yeah, really as I'm, I'm not as good with words as Craig. I'm just. Gonna, <laughs> blurt them out and maybe we discuss or maybe we go yeah back. yeah absolutely um but paula asked for it paula <laughs> yeah, asked right, for it. Yeah. and paula Paula's... you know we'll do anything for you paula so here we go this, this is, is my this is paula's second strike. Top five vaping wankers <laughs> at number five and it's not even a person my number five actually it's a je- it's a group i suppose it's a, a type of person <laughs> um, okay. my number what five is YouTube, I'm famous vape review wankers. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> get a grip. You know, it. YouTube and vaping. Vaping's small. Reviewers are small. You know, don't get above yourself. You know, you might be a big fish in a small pond, but it's a it's a it's a small pond. You know, it's it's not a big deal. You know, we do we we're humble fellas who go to vape meets, talk to people. There are some vape reviewers who think they're above that and uh i'll just yeah they're, they're only at number rich. five they're, it's only number five it's a mild annoyance they're, they're not they're, they're, they're not our mates <laughs> it's, no it's, it's, no. it's, 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 it's true though isn't it it's not even scratching the surface of any kind of fame is it no. it's not at you, all you, not at you, all you, you could have three hundred thousand subscribers and you could walk down the street the rest of your life no one would ever recognize you you know i've got a very nice sort of analogy to work out whether someone is famous or not if my nana knows your name <laughs> you're famous i'm out of this one yeah yeah you're out of that one. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. just because well, of the whole cool. I mean, that, well it... she knows your name but that's for a different story that's exactly what i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it, really, does. it links to my number one actually as well but it's it's just People getting so caught up in this little world of sitting in front of their computer and a camera that they think it's real and and something special when it really isn't. You know, we're, we're just blokes that have a drink on a Thursday, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, I can't do it very often now either. You know, it, it's, it wasn't for anything other than to have a bit of a laugh. And it's nice that we made friends about it, but we're, not, we're humble fellas who'll do anything for anyone, aren't we? <coughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, th- I, I don't think that's ever done. It's always been a massive surprise when people want to bother sitting down having a drink with us, yeah. and we go to these things. It's. Um, um, I think it's it. It would be helpful for them to remember they're still nobody. Yeah, like, <laughs> yes, that's would, what I'm would, saying. It's it the lack would of really ease their psyche. You know. Yeah. yeah. Just Most people are. I mean, we've had 
we've had some big reviewers come on the show. Oh, to be to be fair, off cam, ninety nine point nine percent of them have been fantastic. Yeah, like they're not funny, they're not off at all. Even when I've heard stories, and I've been able to dispel myths when somebody said to me, "Blah blah is a wanker," and you think, "No, they're not." I've met them. Some guys are genuine rock stars within vaping, like Bogan and Grimm. Yeah, they are rock stars. They're they're they're, they're friendly. They'll stop and talk to you. They're lovely guys, and they're they're not full of it, but they are rock stars in vaping. They're mobbed. They are mobbed. Sam is, yeah, is, yeah. He, he's, we're just a, a, an amazingly nice guy. He took, like, when we went out for a Chinese this year, the uh, end of last year, he took the time out. We were just, I was just getting up and going and getting my coat and stuff. And he just came over and squeezed my arm and just went, fucking great hanging up with you today. And then he, that was it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cheers, mate. I just walked off. Just They're all the positives genuine. that I've taken from it, and it, it's not so much I can pinpoint a negative per one person that's negative. Well, we don't, I but the, the fact well, is, number one, I can. We don't hang about with them. No, <laughs> so. no. But it's just the just just the fact that some people forget that they're actually nobodies in in the real world. Yeah, yeah. Like absolutely. the rest of us, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. I'm proud to be a nobody in the real world. You know what I mean, I'm, I'm normal. We're all normal. So get off your horse, I horse, and that's number five. Okay, they want number four. They're begging for it. Number four, actually, I've got four and three combined because I can't split them, really. Although, mm, I, I could. But these are people. <laughs> um, I've got to say, in my experience over the years of doing the show and being a bit in the spotlight in this little vaping world of ours, Dave Dawn and Fergus Mason are three and four. Um, reasons? Well, it started, well, didn't it? I, mean, I would say Dave Dawn also falls into five as well. Yes, yeah, a bit into five, yeah. But they're not, you know, they're not they're not number two or number one. They're three and four. They haven't done anything majorly terrible, but they, I remember when they, Dave Dawn, he vaped something like about 500 milligrams of nicotine <laughs> juice, neat. Um, he came out and said publicly that he... When when there is that spate of uh, fake news about batteries exploding and mod, or mods exploding, let me say, and it was actually battery safety was the big thing. Um, he came out and said that mechs should be fin- should be banned and not sold. And Fergus Mason jumped on it and agreed, and they wrote a. Big, he's a he's a he's a, a journalist in speech marks. I, I think to be fair, I think they're both jobless now. I like. Um, uh, I think they both fizzled out because they became bucking background noise. Va- Vapor Trails TV, which was the force for good, turned into a yeah, it was yeah a fucking Gary on there, a fucking a fan club of Dave Dawn, and it, and it didn't work. We, we spoke about Dave Dawn quite a few times on the show, and and how much of a tosser he is, um, especially back I mean, in he, the day. He started off right, but he was just so disconnected from the regular vapor like we are normal people that he, he decided it was fine to the to ban mechs because they're dangerous this is my point they, they publicly said they're dangerous because they saw a couple of news articles and uh they were using mechs but back when they did that article and ran with that that uh that point that stance well, they've done loads of I don't know, I've, I've missed what you've been saying, but they did the mex thing, they did the CBD thing, heat yep. not burn thing. Yep, uh, shocking, snuzz. Shocking advocates. They did yeah. snuzz as well. But then my point at the, at the time, Fergus Mason put, did this big article saying about uh, how that, why they should be banned and saying that all these, back, all these mods are exploding, which we were seeing a few in the news. But it, I said to him, it's not, it's a battery safety issue, it isn't a mod issue. And I actually went through all of the articles for a number of years and I numbered them up and there were actually more regulated devices that were catching fire than mechanical mods were. So I bet he just wouldn't have it. And he was just, yeah, and they, yeah. they basically got so stuck in their own little bubble of vaping 500 a, milligram Nick at one watt that they, they think ch- that's how everybody should vape. And there's it's, something building up in chat about uh, Dave Dorton, by the way, but uh, I will check after the show because we don't know the ins and outs of it but there's something else going on in chat yeah, it might, might be best not to talk about it yeah we're not going to talk about that but just just saying that something's flicking up in there well, I I'm just going to say them too because they they pissed me Absolutely. off and he had a right he, Fergus Mason got a bit aggressive when I pulled him up on it 
um, at the time, and he wouldn't have it that I was actually making sense when I went through every single news article there was on new on vaping and batteries. Um, a couple of months ago, Mooch did a brilliant thing about just because you're using a regulated device, don't think you're safe. Yeah, and it no, a battery still super... touches metal, and that's all it yeah, does in a mech. Absolutely so... superb little article by Mooch. If anyone yeah, wants to scroll oh, back down, the time. Oh, 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 I'm going to use an example just quickly of, of, of well, one thing that's quite funny. Dave Dawn did a speech at um, uh, Vape Expo one oh, year. No, I know you. I've got this written down. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it wasn't that. It was actually um, Mrs. John was there for the for the for the morning, and she was trying to talk to me about something. And she kept trying to talk to me. And she kept trying to talk to me. And she kept talking to me. And then she pointed at the stage. Mrs. John doesn't swear very often, and she went, "Will that fucking twat just shut up?" <laughs> uh, just really, uh, it's quite funny, just from someone completely neutral. Uh, but the other uh, the thing is, Richard showed it the other day when you did your day, uh, sort of your day, um, set, doing a review and setting up for the show and stuff like that. Which is that we, when we've ever gone for these people in the past uh, and uh, and try to draw them out, Dave Dawn and Fergus Mason, they they forget something really, really weird, especially. Um, no, most of us, we do this shit from the second we get up in the morning till mm. the second we go to bed at night. When they think they're going to get us on the back foot or they think they're going to pull something off, you, you, you are kidding yourself. You are years behind in the research that we do because we do it every single fucking day. From 6 a.m. every day, I'm talking to vapors until I get to bed at at midnight and then it starts again the next day and it doesn't make any difference to the weekend i do it every day that i go to work and talk to vapors and pack vapor stuff to, to try and correct me on something or to correct anybody in the industry on this is absolutely stupid and fergus and dave dawn regardless of what's happened since have, have shown themselves to be the fly by night fuck which they always were because all they actually wanted was fame which was never on offer no, that's I mean, not that's what's even, on. I'll, I'll give Dave his dues. The Vapor Trails channel was a, a pretty substantial yeah. thing at the time. Until till it, till it went up its own ass. Yeah, I mean, he, he was just so disconnected, he wouldn't talk to us, which is quite mm. good. He didn't want the drama. But I don't think he talked to anybody. Um, he did. He wasn't. He didn't touch. When they eventually with... reached out, they reached out to the wrong people. Yeah, let's absolutely. say that. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. They're, they're 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 number three and four, so they're not the worst. They're not the, they don't really piss me off. But it's, <laughs> okay, I, I'm intrigued. I know number one is because I'm not ridiculous, but I want to know who number two is. Well, we're on to number two. Two. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Number two. Okay. Right. Is it a top six? Fake <laughs> vaping news wankers, i.e., U.S. corruption wankers. Yeah. I.e. hobby uh, lobbying wankers. Just the fact. I and, so, and patriotic land of the free wankers. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not knocking America. I like Americans. I've got American customers, but they keep they harp on about being the land of the free when they are so corrupt mm. in their decisions because of money. That it's not free at all. What's free about money buying policy and law? It, you know, I just don't get it. And the news is it all comes from lobbying. You know, people, companies with money can pay to lobby, to pay to get fake news out there. And I just want to group them all together. And the media also with their clickbait bullshit over the years. It's all it's all bought and paid for. And it's just not good. And, and they're all wankers, in my opinion. So, I, I agree. You can't argue with that. No one can argue with that, can they? I don't know. No, I... I, I that, yeah, it's it's a difficult one. But it's a, it's a national... Uh, there's, there's very few Americans who can see that for what that is. They need to come and see how we live here because we can moan all we like about our politics here. It doesn't get bought like it does there. And I just think it's awful what they have, what they put up with, to be honest. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, Here it gets but, fucked up because of ineptitude at the top. There it gets fucked up because they're of just ineptitude. so used to it. They so think so inherently flawed systems, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so like not right or normal to to the rest of the world. It's just, it's just right and normal there. 
um, but you get lobbied and you, you can change policy with money. It's just bullshit. It's just and it's wrong and it's unfair because they're losing out so much over there on the on their vaping market. Yeah, I did there's something quite that, like apt for me when Flitzy came over to the U, to the UK. I've said this before, but it's totally true. He asked me a couple of questions just just checking because he'd never been over before, and at the time Flitzy had got blue hair. And he said, um, will, will anybody care if I, I've got blue hair at the moment? Do you think that's going to be a problem? I said, what do you mean? Or do you think anyone's going to have a problem with it? I said, well, give a shit. <laughs> Not in Britain. No one cares. Do what you no want. gives a fuck. It doesn't yeah. affect them. They won't care. But he said, Glover really? I said, no. But he came over and he spent two weeks over here. And he... It was, was great all... simply. See, I wish I'd gone down to Brighton and saw him when he was there. I just didn't... <laughs> he was almost shocked that no one cared. And the first time he knew he was back in the US, he, he landed to, to get the connection. And he said, uh, uh, where's the, uh, oh, I was just looking for the luggage thing. And the, and the, this was at Chicago. And the, he said, uh, I'm just looking for the luggage carousels. Um, do you know where they are? And he went, oh, my God, are you blind or something? Look at the fucking signs. And he's like that. Yay, I'm home. Yeah. But it shows the pressure they're under and the stress. You know, I, and I believe most people are people. I believe most people see what it's like and know the score. It not even though they can't do anything about it. So I feel sorry for them. It's not. I'm not, I'm not knocking Americans. No. I'm knocking their system. You know, and I think we're all patriotic and we'll all say things, but don't say "land of the free" when it's not. You know, it bugs me a bit. It bugs me. So, yeah. They're, they're number two, fake news and corruption and lobby wankers. Are number who, two. what, the, who, or the fake scientist, the fake scientists as well in America. It's like, all bought and lobbied for, your, isn't it? Your standard glances of the world are just awful. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's just too, it's just bad. It's not it's bad. It's it's not good. And anyway, number one, obviously, we know who I'm going to say. <laughs> Have I got reasons? I think I've got a couple of reasons. <laughs> it's got to be number one biggest vaping wanker, and also tied in with with the with the number what with the number five. I think you know. Obviously, you there's people who don't see that there's a world outside of a bedroom. I'm looking, I'm looking at Richard doing that, right? Yeah, right. and if you want to come at me about it, you can. I mean, I'm saying it how I see it, and you, you can. You're all entitled to your own opinion. I'm talk to mine and this is just my opinion it's not the show's opinion they're probably a bit embarrassed i'm going to say it no, do it like me i'm just i'm just echoing echoing craig because rightly so the number one wanker vaping wanker is vic mullin <laughs> vaping with fucking vic he's a tosser and i'll tell you why i'm not just saying he's a tosser i give people a chance you know i even went and said hello to him once and I, i'm i'm a nice normal fella i don't i'm not on my own ass i'm not anything except all right but he is a wanker a big wanker why is he a wanker the wanker firstly we started doing the show he saw it as a threat he came on to our group and he posted links to his stuff and we kicked him off and then he got on his <coughs> high horse so he was he wasn't humble about it he wasn't apologetic well, we, we don't we don't allow, we, we've never allowed anyone to do that We've no. never, nobody has It done wasn't that. apologetic or humble like anybody normal would be. It's, I'm va I'm this, I'm vape famous wanker, you know. So I deserve something else. Your show will serve me and I will use it. It's like, no, back your band because of that, you know. And he wasn't, and he, since then, he's just been horrible at every turn. He uses drama to create interest. And he always has. And anybody who doesn't see that, it's daft, and but the sick thing is, there's so many people that don't see it, and they go along and they think Vic's something that he isn't. He's just some poor little lonely fellow who sits in his fucking mum's house doing videos, you know. I mean, if... well, he used to. Well, he used to. Now he's got an office, but he's, he's soon be back to his mum's because his YouTube channel's been kicked off. Oh no, put it back. Yeah, they've got it. He's got it back now. Oh, have they? Oh, well, I'll give it a chance. It'll cause more drama. And... But no, he's just he's just been horrible and vile for quite a long time. Yes, we poked fun at him now and again. We poked fun at everyone. He couldn't take that drama, that fun. He's turned it into drama to try and get hits. He hated it that uh, Dean won that easy click awards when we first started doing it, and he didn't. Um, and he's gone on the rampage ever since. He, he's been horrible to Mark Todd. 
to the point of Mark wanting to give up doing reviews when he's the nicest bloke in vaping, in my opinion. My opinion, I'm, I'm biased, but this no, is no, my opinion. He just um, is. He just I, is. I speak to Mark like every day. And yeah, it's just Mark, like, I love seeing Mark. Don't see him enough. Uh, when I do, it's always a pleasure. And he just, and he just got, he just, and he, when he's threatened, he just causes drama. He even makes stuff up, and he has made stuff up. Um, but the Christmas ramp was fucking a one-off. Like Craig has said, we've got it videoed. Maybe it'll go up again soon. Maybe we should put it up, really. Speak to Craig on Facebook. He'll send you a link and you can watch it for yourself. It's quite funny. But no, the high-end scene, it's still, it's, it's smaller, Vic. It, did, it is dying a bit, but it's still going. Um, and I'm pleased that the TPD didn't end vaping like you hoped it had, hoped it did. Um, because he did say that at the time, didn't he? The I, 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 I'm going to do something I shouldn't do, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to give a quick shout out for... Um, a, there was a chap a few weeks ago who who started making compilation videos and used uh, edits to, to turn some of Vic's old videos into humorous things. Anyway, they got taken down due to... Uh, uh, yeah, IP theft, which is fair enough. They, they, that's exactly that's what they were. Um, uh, um, and he so he creates another channel called Banter with with L. Um, I would, it, whatever you think of it, and whatever, I really think you should go and see his last video, which is called the Kelpie's Final Destination. I watched it the day because it came up as one of the suggestions on my YouTube. And it's a really he he does it, it goes into mental health and I would definitely I would just go and watch it go and find the video because if nothing else it's a brilliant description yeah it was a good closing video uh, that. Uh, of mental health and I thought he did brilliantly well I think I think it, I, I give him absolute kudos for being very brave and talking about things that people don't normally talk about that was just reminded me of, of, of that thing yeah so generally that's 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 the reason he's at number one spot. Mm -hmm. Chat seems to be with you. It doesn't realise, well, of course they do, because it's true. And they're sensible, the people who watch us. But it's just really sad that there's so many... I'm going to put them all in number one as well. All the all the Vic up 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 his ass wankers. <laughs> because there's lots of them. They'll just, they just blindly defend a to an idiot. Do you know what I mean? And it just falls on a piss. It really does. I mean, and I'm not bothered what I say. I don't give a shit. Um, I've got nothing to lose from it, uh, but it's my opinion, and that's what I think. Vic is a number one vaping wanker, definitely in the UK. There might be a bigger wanker in the US, I don't know, but definitely in the UK, Vic, vaping with Vic. Um, I, my top five, I will wanker. say on the counter to that, not, not arguing against you for us. Um, yeah, it's my view, not theirs. The um, it might probably is theirs as well, they won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> we have had whatever we you know. Well, I've never met, I've had to admit, I've never met a bad Omi ever in all the time we've done these shows. Mm. Uh, in um, <clears throat> our countless fuck, I can't even remember how many Colin's expos. a nasty piece of work. Which one? Uh, shithead from Norfolk, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a fuckhead, but he's he knows, it. Sab. yeah, it's true. What can you do? Um, Whenever we've been to these shows, we've met some really great people. I really do think you, you know, you kind of get back what you put in, and we, we, uh, um, never malicious, never, never shitty, never talking about other people, just sitting down drinking a beer and having a laugh. And I've, it, I, I've saved a fortune in beers. The amount of beers Omi's have bought me. I mean, it's been wanking. amazing. It's been an amazing ride from the start. The support and the nice people, and we got we got genuine friends that we see now, haven't we? I mean. Mm -hmm. And they are, you know, everybody. It's so many people, more than you can mention, that I'm happy to see every time we go to a vape meet. Absolutely, totally They're makes great. it. All of them great. Yeah. Every single time. And they only cut and like a half. Like, fuck that. Ninety-five percent of them only come for the laugh. And we're definitely, by the way, we're definitely mm -hmm. still doing London, just in case. I'm going to mention it now. The unvape jam. The unvape jam. There is no vape jam, but we're definitely going to be in London, and we'll definitely meet you in a pub. And um, and then uh, and hang out with everybody for the day. So fuck, it isn't it? Doesn't count. We're we're, we're going to try and keep it under five hundred because of the corona thing. So if we can keep the meat under five hundred, <laughs> if you've got corona, you're not invited. 
<laughs> so just take that. You're expressly uninvited. It's a given. <laughs> you're, not, <laughs> you're not fucking coming. What if you don't know you've got corona because it's normal and healthy and you've got it? We'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so only if you've got respiratory problems or old. I'm going to broken. bring my daughter's ear thermometer and yeah, I'm not just start fucking touching anyone. As they walk in. As they you look suspicious. I'm fucking checking you. Yeah, we have to find somewhere it. to go, won't we? That we can all go to. Yeah. Do, do yeah, resort. we're going to find a really nice pub. We've already got some suggestions, so we're going to get that pinned down. Let I promise me know a hotel before down. you tell everybody else. Of course, well, that's how it works, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we've always done it. Yeah. Well, sorry to bring up the drama, but uh, it was asked for. And You're okay. That was the question. It was fine. It's no, your fault. Don't usually no, do it's... drama, but and it isn't drama. It's, it's, it's your actual... five. It was by popular request, so yeah, it's all good. it was it was wankers. I tried to stop them. <laughs> couldn't stop it. But no, that's, uh, so now that's all good. That's all good. Anything? Anything else we need to do before? Uh, um, I would say. Um, just a quick one, because I had a, a few. There's been a little bit of a rumbling in the vape world when it comes to um, not panic buying, but stocking up. Which is don't absolutely. Complain, John, if I'm, everyone's going mad. No, 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 I, I, I'm not doing that. I'm not no, complaining. I should, I, should, I, should, I, should, I should rustle up some some fury with mob. <laughs> I was all I was going to say was. Um, uh we've got stock it's literally I, I live in a really i live in a tiny tiny village in east anglia i i work a hundred meters away from my own house um you, you've no need to panic if we get it I, i've already decided if it Why gets it you 10 minutes to get there it's three minutes did I say ten minutes away? Seven minutes. Because he keeps falling over and hurting himself, and he has to limp. Because you said, "Give me ten minutes." I'm just on my way uh, to work. Oh, that's for yards. Two wanks and Us- then walk. You saying Bolt's not worried? No, three minutes takes me to get to work. Just under two minutes, about fifty-six seconds. Um, I will say. Uh, so um, the only thing that we've got, the only thing I've got in place, just well, for my own safety, not for my own safety. I don't really care. But I'm going to shut. Uh, if we if we if I if we get someone if, if someone gets corona within ten miles, we'll decide I'm just gonna shut the shop and go ninety nine percent online so that we're not a shop. Because I think things are gonna change possibly uh, when anybody who's not essential EG a food shop's got to close anyway. I think that's gonna be a government thing that may come up in the next fortnight. But if it does, it doesn't make any difference because we're gonna be doing website sales anyway. Um don't forget, we've got all the cannolis, all the nars. There's been a bit of chat about Hall of Vape and Expo, and will they be on? We sort of talked about it a bit in the week, didn't we, John? I, yeah. I think, I, I think uh, the fairest thing you can say at the moment is 50-50. I think it's 50 because we've, we're a while away. Don't forget, a Hall of Vape is May. Mm, if, we can, time. if we can do the next four weeks, I think it's going to go. And the, I pre- think the predicted peak is two weeks, so that's in March. So there's a whole of April to see what happens, you know. Yeah, I I agree. I think we're going to see Expo. When's Expo? I'm, I'm not going to the first the year. I'm not going to the whole cancelled, isn't it? Don't you think? Don't you, I'm of the opinion that they're actually done for now. Oh, they've already cancelled. No, I will say Expo's already ca- by their yeah. wording. They've already cancelled because they didn't say Expo. They said Expos when they cancelled London. Well, you've got to imagine, no, that's, from that's the vendor's not... point of view, if they can't oh, they fill didn't, London, so... no, they they can't fill London so... why are they going to fill Birmingham? No, no, yeah. that's the jam. No, people. sorry, it's that's jams. The jam jams have cancelled. All the jams well, are off. was so small, though, wasn't it, in London? All, all yeah. the jams are off this year, and it's because of CBD regs. CBD, yeah, it's true. So, we'll, well see. I'm not sad about that, to be honest. No, I didn't but like the, the expo is very much on. They've released a statement saying, as it stands, it's on, but we are listening to the government. Okay. Oh, we'll see what uh, but I genuinely think both events are 50-50 at this point. I, yeah. I mean, there's no way, for example, if uh, football matches are still postponed and all those kind of events, there's no way they're going to allow all the vape. Well, they've just said, uh, Dom's just said in chat that uh, any uh, gathering of over a thousand in Germany is cancelled. As it stands and banned, right now. As it stands, yeah. But we've still got, we've still got a couple of months, three months, sorry. I, I, to anyone asking, and when it has, I've seen it in a few groups and chats, I, I, I genuinely think it's impossible to say. I think total, complete fifty-fifty at this point. Yep. 
Um, if you're going to do it, the one thing I would say is don't forget, <clears throat> just to be serious and not a knob for a second, if, if you get your, if, if you've already got your flights booked to Germany, don't worry because you are covered by the, um, uh, by the airline's policy on cancellations, and so you're either going to get credit or a refund. Yeah, um, get a refundable room. That's the other thing I was going to say. If you're if you're thinking about going and you're right on the edge, just go on booking and get a refundable room with free cancellation, and then you can just cancel it. Are you announcing the t-shirt winner now, John? Um, I can do. Um, hold on, fuck me. He's really going for it. Let's Put go. You're under the pressure now. Yeah, well, I'm going to get a number from Rick. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, a number between. I'm not one looking at the Facebook group or anything. I haven't got. Out no, you don't have to. A number between oh. one and nineteen. Then. Are you yeah. sure? Uh, yeah, go on. I'll say fourteen. Okay, which is counting? Oh, I think it's Lisa. Oh, is it Lisa Bennett? Uh, let's double check. <laughs> Okay, uh, our mind's not loading. So this is us watching. The two you, you do. To count to fourteen. Well, I can't. Mine's mine's loading. Oh, hang on. on. One, uh, two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven, eight. Oh, he has nine, to count ten, out loud. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, it's Peter. This is gripping Peter stuff. Clarkson. Peter Clarkson is number fourteen. Peter Congratulations. Clarkson. Congratulations. So, Peter, send me a PM. You have just won a T-shirt. Uh, if you want to go over to. Apparel, vapor apparel, um, and uh, have a look at the size charts and the colours, and send me the size and colour you want, and I will do it. I've already had confirmation from the Blythester himself, and uh, to, to say to say that I'm getting another T-shirt, and uh, he's cool with it. So can you, yeah, send over your size and colour, and I'll get that sent out to you. Oh, I've already got you. I've already got your address, Peter, because you are a Jan user. Uh, and I put a link to Viperol in chat. Click that. Get involved if you want one. Get yourself no, a t-shirt. No, no pressure. No pressure. As, as, if I was doing the raffle, I'd say, look, you, you, in all likelihood, you fucking lost. So go over there and just get yourself a t-shirt. Yeah. So that's that. Thanks to everyone. Thanks to everyone for watching. Smash that like button. Cheers to Rick for coming on. Thanks, Max. Oh, I really, really, really love having oh, you back, man. Good to see you. Big hugs for you, Rick. Yeah, and <laughs> we will probably see you next week. We will see you next week. Probably. See you uh, next Thursday. Bye. If we don't all have fever. Bye. <laughs>